break statement in Scala. It is having a different way to, to have the break in our loop construct. So, let us discuss that one into further details. As such, there is no inbuilt break statement available in Scala, but if you are running Scala version 2.8 or above, then there is a way to use the break statement. When the break statement is encountered inside a loop, the loop is immediately terminated and the program control resumes at the next statement following the loop. So, whenever you are using the Scala version that is 2.8 or more than that, then we are having the one way to implement this break statement. We know that we usually put a break statement within a loop and when the condition is true to execute the break statement, immediately the loop terminates and control come to the next line after this loop construct. So, here is one sample flowchart we have given. So, when the condition is becoming true, then the conditional code will get executed and break statement will get executed and it will come out from the looping construct. So, let us show you the syntax. The following is the syntax for the break statement. So, at first we are supposed to import this package. So, that is the import scala.util.control.underscore. In case of Java, we usually write this one dot star, but here we will be writing this one as dot underscore. So, here create a break object as follows. So, val loop is equal to new breaks. So, that is the new object we have defined under this breaks. So, keep the loop inside breakable as follows. So, now there is a for loop. This for loop has been kept under this breakable. You see loop dot breakable. This loop we defined earlier. There is a breaks object. So, we defined earlier. So, loop dot breakable within this curly braces, we have kept this for loop there. So, now here we are having the for statements are there within this curly braces, we are having the for loop statements. And whenever some condition is becoming true, then you are writing this one loop dot break, immediately it will come out from this for loop and from this loop dot breakable uh, block. And then the next line which will be there after this, uh, after this for loop will be, will be getting the control and will be executed. I think for the better idea, let us go for one demonstration where we will be using some Scala code to show you into details. In Scala, there is no such break or continue statement. So, to obstruct or to prohibit the loop execution or to break the loop execution, we shall use this break and the continue in some different construct. So, some different mechanisms are there, not like the pure statements like break and continue. So, now let me discuss break here. So, the following example is to understand the break statement, but we have told you that one that there is no such break statement is available in our Scala programming. So, how, what is the method, what is the mechanism we, we are going to use here, how we are doing this. Okay. So, now here you see, here we have defined one variable that is bar a is equal to 0, that means a is of the type integer and then val num list is equal to list, so it is having the value ranging from, elements are ranging from 1 to 10. So, now here we are defining one break object that is a loop. Here we are defining one break object. Now, you can find that if you put your mouse pointer on this break, you are getting this tooltip that is a scala dot util dot control dot breaks. So, this is a respective package name. So, that is why we have imported scala dot util dot control. If you do not import this one, so then break will become unknown. So, we here you see not found that is a type break. So, now you can find that some error messages are being shown. So, this particular package import is very much required. So, you know that instead of putting this uh, underscore that is a placeholder also you can go for this breaks, you can import this break, otherwise you can go for this place, uh, placeholder. And in case of Java, we used to use this one as asterisk symbol, so that you can import all the respective classes defined under this scala.util.control package. So, now here we are having this val loop is equal to new breaks. Here you see loop dot, this loop is there also, loop dot breakable. So, here you are defining one body, just see here, loop dot breakable, here we are defining one body. Under this body, you are using one for a statement here. So, A will be get, will be having the value getting populated from the elements from this num list for each and every iteration one element. 
So, here you are printing this value of a and when the value of a will be equal to 4, then loop dot break will take place. That means, it will come out from this loop dot breakable scope. So, from this respective block it will come out, the control will come out and so after that print ln after the loop this particular string will get printed. Now, let me show you the output here. So, what will happen for a is equal to 1 and a is equal to 2, a is equal to 3, a is equal to 4, this value of a will get printed and for 1, a 1 is, is equal to 4 that is not true, that was not true, 2 is equal to, is equal to 4 that was not true, 3 is also not equal to 4 that was not true, but 4 is equal to, is equal to 4 will be true. So, loop dot break will take place. So, you are getting this uh, value of a is equal to 1, 2, 3 and 4 only. After that it is coming out from this loop breakable, this particular scope, it is coming out from here and so after the loop is getting printed. So, in this particular sample program we have shown you that how, what is the mechanism and how we can implement the break that is how we can prohibit the normal execution of a loop using break in our Scala coding. Thanks for watching this video.